Hello friends, welcome to Agora Collections. Ready? 1, 2, 3, start. The protests that broke out in Kajahastan on January 2 over a fuel price hike have snowballed into the biggest political crisis the oil rich central asian countries leadership has faced in over three decades kazakhstan which broke away from the soviet union to become an independent republic in 1991 has been tightly ruled by strong men ever since. Nar Sultan Nasser Baev, the country's powerful leader, stepped down as president in 2019 but retained an outsized influence over the government of his cherry picked successor Hasim Jomart Tokayev. The capital city was named after Mr. Nasser Baev as Nar Sultan and his statues erected across the country. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Nasser Baev, who embodies the old regime, was the center of public anger. The protesters chanting slogans such as Old Man Out burned his statues. Shaken by the mass gatherings and violence, Mr. Tokayev took a series of swift messages to kill the unrest. He reversed the fuel price hike, sacked his cabinet and replaced Mr. Nasser Baev as the Security Council's chair with himself. He has also requested the Russia-led Collective Security Treaty Organization for help. A billing Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, quickly dispatched troops. Not many had foreseen a crisis of this proportion coming, but Kazakhstan has witnessed growing labor and ethnic unrest in recent years. Despite its oil wealth, low salaries and poor working conditions have always been issues. Many hoped that Mr. Tokayev would bring in change. But they saw Mr. Nasser Baev continuing to pull the strings. The pandemic induced economic slowdown and soaring inflation made matters worse. Public resentment was building up against the ruling elite over the years and the fuel price hike did just light the fuse 
triggering protests first in Tranosan, a city in the western Mangisto region that had seen unrest in the recent past. It spread to other parts of the country quickly, especially to Almaty, the largest city where the mob stormed the mayor's office. The protesters, emboldened by the concessions the regime has made now, demand political reforms. For Mr. Tokayev, this is the biggest crisis of his presidency, but also an opportunity. It is a crisis because in a country where the public was thought to adulate their rulers, the violent clashes arise both political and security challenges to the ruling elite. On the other side, it is an opportunity for the president to come out of the shadows of the old regime. The outcome of the current crisis would largely depend on the choices he would make. Dealing with the protests only through force including with help from Russia, the Belarus model would not resolve the underlying issues. The other option, the most sensible one, is to reach out to the angry public, hold consultations and build consensus to enter a new social contract with the people of Kazakhstan.